Good morning. As John reported earlier today, 2015 was a great year for the Holstein Association. We thought it might be interesting to take a look back five and ten years to see just how far we have come. Registrations have been on a steady increase <coughs> since 2005 when we surpassed the 300,000 mark. We had almost 340,000 in 2010, and now in 2015, over 380,000. We will continue to push ourselves to reach 400,000 in the very near future. As you probably could have guessed, the number of accounts sending in those registrations has slowly decreased. In 2005, registrations were submitted from over 22,000 accounts, and in 2015, it was just over 17,000. If you look at where the registrations are coming from, Wisconsin leads the way with 21% market share, followed by New York and Pennsylvania, each with 13%. Together, they account for 47% of our registration total in 2015. In the next tier, we find California with 6%, Michigan, Minnesota, and Ohio with 5%, Iowa with 4%, Illinois and Washington with 3%. The top 10 states for registrations all total yield 78% of our 2015 registrations. We compared 2005 to 2015 registrations by state to see where we ex are experiencing the most growth. Wisconsin leads the way with 4% growth in registrations in the past 10 years. New York and Washington grew over a percent with Michigan, New Mexico, and Texas rounding out the top six states for growth. <coughs> We see that our customers are submitting their registrations earlier. In 2005, 60% of registrations were submitted when calves were under three months of age, and in 2015, it rose to 70%. It is no surprise that registering with our tag ID method is growing in popularity. This is the ID method that uses two official tags versus a sketch or a photo. In 2005, 57% 50, of registrations were tag ID. In 2015, 83% of our registrations were tag ID. As you all know, for every animal we register, a percent registered Holstein ancestry is calculated and assigned. In 2005, 70% of our registrations were at 100% RHA. In 2015, that figure fell to 40%. So 60% of our registrations were less than 100% RHA. We are seeing significant growth in the number of ET registrations with almost 17,000 in 2005 compared to 37,000 in 2015. Roughly, ETs account for about 10% of our total registrations. Growth can be found again in the number of red and whites we have registered. In 2005, it was close to 6,000. In 10 years' time, we have doubled that amount, with just shy of 13,000 red and whites registered in 2015. We thank the RWDCA for their valuable relationship and the trust they placed in us just over two years ago when we started dual registering red and white Holsteins for them. Of course, we have seen growing interest in polled Holsteins. We registered 300 heterozygous polled Holsteins in 2005. And in 2015, that figure grew to over 4,000. As John mentioned earlier, Holsteins are leading the way in genomic testing. If we look at the number of Holsteins with genomic evaluations at CDCB, we were just shy of 30,000 animals that were newly evaluated in 2010 
and in 2015, the number jumped to 300,000. We find that more customers are genomic testing earlier, too. In 2010, over 1,000 Holsteins were already genomic tested at time of registration. In 2015, it was over 25,000. We couldn't be more thrilled with how Holstein Complete has been received. In 2005, we had 1,133 herds enrolled. In 2015, we had 1,817 herds enrolled. That's a 60% increase. The growth in number of cows has more than doubled, with 135% growth. In 2005, we had 132,717 cows, and in 2015, we had 311,677 cows enrolled. Finally, we have seen growth in the average Holstein complete herd size. In 2005, it was 117 head average. It grew to 136 head in 2010, and now the average complete herd size was 172 in 2015. It was a lot of fun to take a look back and see how we've been able to grow in this rapidly changing business. We thank you for your continued support and can't wait to see where the next 10 years takes us.